what's in the box? the most wonderful time of year is here again my friends Christmas time a time of watching the same Christmas specials on a constant loop hearing your favorite pop radio hits get replaced by grandma got run over by a reindeer and fighting to the death trying to get your son the last copy of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie at Kmart now available on blu-ray digital HD and Betamax yes now you can remind your son of the feelings of apathy and depression that washed over him in the theater this past August watching his favorite group of ass-kicking turtles get shat upon by Michael Bay. Of course, I wouldn't know how bad that latest Turtles movie was, because I just went and saw Guardians of the Galaxy again that weekend. But in the spirit of the season, I also saw the other infamous TMNT special that I mentioned in my last review on Turtle Tunes. We wish you a Turtle Christmas, released at the same time as Turtle Tunes on VHS in 1994. And yes, what you've heard is true. Turtle Christmas is indeed one of the lowest of the low points in this franchise. But the real question remains, is it worse than the turtles singing about the dangers of hanging out with pedophile ninjas. Well, this is awfully good movies we're talking about, where our favorite Christmas movies are less like this, Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. and more like this. Put that cookie down! Now! So let us head down to the sewers and find out, and make sure you watch out for Spike Beach Balls. <laughs> Well, first off, I'm glad to report that this special has at least one non-turtle character coming back, and that would be Master Splinter, even though I'm pretty sure he was assumed dead in the last special. My sons, you have learned the greatest truth of the ninja. But whatever, he's alive here. And the turtles stopped their Christmas Eve preparation short when they discover none of them got a gift for their beloved sensei. Wait a minute. Are you guys telling me... That nobody got a gift for Splinter? I assume they're upset at this, but then again, the turtles' expressions are set permanently at rape face, so I'm just blue skying here. Now the turtles have to go up to the sewers and through the streets and without any fucking disguises to brave the dangers of last minute Christmas shopping, only to stop midway so that Michelangelo can have a mental breakdown. He's turning into that opera guy again. Ah uh, yes, just like that other time Michelangelo turned into an opera singer after seeing a tree. You know, that scene from the first movie that doesn't fucking exist? Does anybody have any idea about who or what this is? But after much deliberation and singing of shitty songs, the turtles settle on a variety of gifts for their master, which really have no use to a mutated elderly rat person. Six yellow, yellow, yellow. I, I, guess, well, yeah, I guess you could. Tubular! I, I like well, that's happening, Raph. Totally bodacious! <laughs> yes, Splitter, thank you for bestowing us with the gift of martial arts and enlightening wisdom. You're basically our father. Now have a burnt to shit pizza that you can't even eat. Watch the mold grow on it, that's the fun part. And on Christmas morning, Splinter runs down through all the gifts the turtles have gotten him in a rendition of the 12 Days of Christmas, which, like all renditions of the 12 Days of Christmas, runs too goddamn long and makes me want to commit seppuku with a sharpened candy cane! But at the end of it, Splinter makes sure his sons remember the true meaning of Christmas. I fear that perhaps we have lost sight of the true meaning of this special time of year. Being with those who you love and thinking of those less fortunate than you. Well, that's funny, because judging from the rest of the special, I'd have thought the true meaning of Christmas was turning classic Christmas carols into soulless white reggae, Take the holes with pepperoni. laying down some of the whitest rap since Duran Duran covered Public Enemy, oh, the rap, 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 rap. Oh, yeah. and hanging with those homeless kids from the last special. Seriously, where the fuck are their parents? But to this special's credit, well... The message is kind of sweet, and that gotta get a gift for Splinter song is pretty damn catchy. And it actually feels like a short 22 minutes this time, but no, that's all that prevents We Wish You a Turtle Christmas from being quite as bad as Turtle Tunes. Other than that, you're getting more of the same. More shitty Turtles costumes, more stupid banner between the Turtles, and more proof that Michael Bay can never be the worst thing that's happened to this franchise. Because combined together, these two specials make up one big lump of coal. Wait, 
Did I say coal? Uh, I meant shit. Let's go with shit. Now it's time to trade in that pizza flavored beer for some good old eggnog as we play a special holiday edition of the awfully good drinking game. Take a shot or drink every time the turtles shit in your ear canals. I mean, delight us with another song. You again catch the turtles' mouths still moving after they've stopped speaking. Donnie was supposed to get a gift for Splinter. Say guys, while you're still drafting your lists for Santa, how about you add a puppeteer who isn't pissed drunk? You find a line in this special that can also be used to review this special. I don't believe you guys. This is not my idea of fun. You guys are a new day is added to Splinter's rendition of the 12 Days of Christmas. 12 April only autographs, 11 pairs of sneakers, 10 yellow yo-yos, 9 narrow neckties. Well hey, at least it's easier to get through than the theme song to the last Ninja Turtles movie. And take a double shot when you reach the credits, which inexplicably include the ninja from the last special, even though he's nowhere to be seen here. Well you are missed, pedophile ninja. You are dearly, dearly missed. Wait, what the fuck am I saying? And on the nudity watch, well, um, I, uh, their arms still look like penises. On the enjoyable discontinuum scale from Boulder Bruce, we wish you a turtle Christmas will have you wishing for the sweet taste of fruitcake pizza. And gets a three out of 10. Go ninja, go ninja, go! No, seriously, go and get out of here before I call the cops! I have mace, you motherfuckers! I'm Jesse Shade for JoeBlow.com, and don't you throw away that Christmas wrapping away just yet, because for next week's review, we have one more little Christmas treat for you guys. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, fuck you too. Joe Blow, he sure likes to drink a lot. And Joe Blow won't just blow me like the heroin. Joe Blow, he's not just like the summer hey everyone, Jesse Shade here from Awfully Good Movies. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see me take on more good bad movies, click on any of the links you see here, or subscribe to see this show alongside all the great content that we offer here at JoeBlow.com. And remember, I love you. Uh, wait, that sounded wrong. But I do love you, though.